Now I kept our rules over here for how we multiply a two digit number times a two digit number. This one is a little harder because when we multiply the numbers, some of them are going to be more than 10. So first step is multiply by the ones place. And I'm going to do that right here. My ones place is right here. So 4 times 6 is 24. Put my 4 down here and my 2 up here. <coughs> then, my, like I said, my broken windshield wiper moves its way across and only goes this way. 4 times 7 is 28. But I have a 2 up here. What do, who can raise their hand? Tell me what I do with that 2 and what the answer is going to be. I add 2 to 28. So what's my answer going to be? 30. Because 4 times 7 is 28 plus 2 is 30. So there, I'm done with step 1. Now I'm in step 2. I need to put a 0 in to hold the 1's place. Because I'm going to be multiplying by 10's. I put a 0 right here. Now, here's the part I want you guys to watch. I'm going to be multiplying by the tens place now. I don't need this number anymore. I'm going to cross it out. I don't want it getting in the way of our other, of our other numbers. I'm just going to put an x to it. Not erase it, because if we have to go back and fix it, I want us to know there was a 2 there. But we're not going to use it anymore, so I'm, I'm crossing it out. Now I have to multiply by 2. 2 groups of 10. And since I'm multiplying by tens, my, I'm going to start writing my answer underneath the tens place. 2 times 6 is what? What's 2 times 6? 12. So I'm going to put a 2 down here, and my 1 is going to come up here. See, I'm only, I'm only going to look at my 1 up here now. I don't need my 2 up here anymore. 7 times 2, what is that? What is that? 14, but I have a 1 up here, so what do I need to do with that? Bailey. And what's it going to be? 15. So I have my 5 and my 1. So look, I put a 0 to hold the 1's place. I multiplied by the number in the 10's place. What do I need to do now? I'm still not done. I have two numbers, but I'm not done yet. Simeon. Add it up. So I'm putting a plus sign. I'm putting an equal sign. 4 plus 0 is 4. 0 plus 2 is 2. Man, they're making it easy for us. 3 plus 5 is 8. And 1 plus, well, nothing is just 1. So when we take 76 and multiply it by 24, and we follow our four steps, the answer is 1,000. 824. Okay?